Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are here with some Call of Duty World War II beta on the PlayStation 4. If you're wondering what account I'm on, it's just an account I made. Uh, if you set your preferences, or if you create an account that's located in Hong Kong, you could download it for free. Uh, my beta code hadn't arrived yet for the PlayStation 4, so I had to do this in order to play it when I wanted to. And so that's why I'm on this weird account. Um... I wanted to talk a little bit about Call of Duty and uh, just exactly what uh, I'm going to be doing with it. So if you guys did not know, because it's been quite a while since I was seriously into Call of Duty, I used to be uh, really seriously into Call of Duty and I used to, you know, care about my KD and all that different stuff. Um, it's kind of gone down. My, my love for, you know, fighting for a KD has gone down. Over the past uh, couple games, so the last time I really took it fully seriously was Ghosts. Uh, I didn't take it serious in Black Ops 2. I played a lot of League Play and I played a lot of uh, stuff like that in Black Ops 2. Uh, it was Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts really were the last two that I really cared. Um, and so when World War 2 comes out, I'm going to be getting it on both consoles and I want to take it very seriously. Uh, I really have enjoyed this beta a lot. And I, th I think I'm going to be playing it a fair amount. Um, I'm going to be playing this beta a lot. So if there's not as much Madden content this weekend and next, next weekend, that's why. I will be uploading a few uh, World War II beta videos here and there. Um, I know that's not primarily what people want to see, but it's something I want to upload to the channel. This was a really good game of war that I had, so I wanted to upload it. Um, there's a couple of points where I just kind of go off. Um, there's a couple of bad deaths with anything, and there's a couple times that I had to die. Um... There's a time on the bridge when they're when we're building the bridge where I needed to throw smokes for my team, so I had to die there. And there was another time where I died, uh, and I switched to a sniper to throw smokes again. And uh, so there are a couple of deaths that uh, didn't have to be deaths, but they were because I wanted to help my team win. We didn't end up actually coming out with a win in this game, but I felt like it was a good enough gameplay. I wanted to upload it anyway. Uh, I played the beta for four or five hours today. Uh, I am the max level, level 20, uh, for the beta, and it's day one, uh, so I'll probably end up getting on my main account on PlayStation and playing on that, um, and leveling that up to 20 as well, uh, but I'll probably do a couple of live comms or a live comm session or whatnot, uh, still getting quite used to the game, it's still, uh, a, a little bit different for me, the STG is my weapon of choice right now, um, my attachments on it, red dot, grip and rapid fire it'll come down it'll be interesting what the attachments i put on it once i un unlock advanced rifling um i'm pretty interested to see exactly what i do with that uh, i'll probably play some games with the ppsh just see exactly how much i like that i'll take a look at the other assault rifles but it's looking like for the new with how just how it's laid out it looks like i will be primarily an ar player uh, I'll be using the STG and whatever other ARs are available in the game uh, with a little PPSH action mixed in and a little bit of sniper. Uh, I probably won't be playing too much shotgun or LMG just simply because of how the game is laid out um, with, the, with the divisions and leveling up each division and unlocking different items and perks for all, or, or not perks, different items and I, I guess you can call them perks, abilities uh, within the divisions. Um, there are four different things you unlock. You start with one, and then you unlock three more by leveling up to level four. You get one each level, and then at level five you unlock a special uh, weapon uh, specific to the class. Um, I'm hoping I haven't seen anything about it in it. You don't unlock anything in the beta. Something to the the only counter to UAVs is the mountain class, which allows you to become invisible if you're moving. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any, uh, anything else for the other classes, or if you're just going to have to rely on counter UAVs from your team and from yourself, uh, that should be interesting, because with everybody showing up on the map, that's a real, you're on a real struggle bus right there with everybody, with, the, with you showing up on the map, it's going to make it really hard to get high kill streaks, um, consistently, which will, I, I want to have, I want to hold a 2k, over a 2kd, I think, um, I'd like to hold over a 2 on Xbox and over like a 2.5, because on PlayStation I'm not going to play that much. I'm going to play, but I'm not going to play that much. So probably want to hold like a 2.5 on PlayStation, a 2.0 on Xbox, because I'll do most of my messing around in, 
if I want to do, you know, search sniping for a day and murder my KD, um, I can do that. Or I can, if I want to snipe and get that class on, and stuff like that leveled up, that's going to cost KD because I can't consistently post a 2 KD with a sniper playing how I want to play with the sniper. I guess I could camp with a sniper like you should, but that's not how I like to play with snipers, so it kind of comes into that. So the content that I probably post for World War II would probably just be probably just live comms and high kill games and stuff like that. Probably won't be a regular thing. I'll probably post. Uh, I'll record every game I play because it's not that hard, but I'll probably end up... Uh, probably end up uploading maybe one World War II video a week if I really take it seriously, maybe two. Uh, but obviously my channel remains uh, Madden-oriented. With the betas, I'll probably upload a little bit more for the betas. I might I might upload one video every day of the beta, depending on how much I play, um, and depending on uh, exactly when I get the gameplay. Because if I get it like early in my play session, then I'll definitely get one up. If I get it at the end, it might just be saved for the next day. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know why Madden content may be a little slow this weekend and next weekend, um, as well as... Uh, I'll reiterate it then, but then again in November when uh, World War II comes out. I'm not buying many games this fall. Uh, like I've stated, it's Madden. It's Destiny 2 on the PlayStation 4. Uh, it's Call of Duty World War II, and that might be it. I have interest in Battlefield and NBA and some stuff like that, but I'm not sure I'm going to buy them. Uh, like I said uh, in the plans video, uh, I do want to take NFL DFS really serious this year uh, and try to make it like a job, so uh, that cuts a lot of time. Doing Madden content for you guys, which I enjoy, uh, also cuts a lot of time. So by the time I get done with all that and college and work, uh, there's not a lot of time left for free time with with gaming like there's a new atom coming up coming out for XCOM and I really wanted to play that but um, I'll probably hold off on playing that all the way to like the spring or next summer um, because I just don't I simply don't have time to do it uh, and if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get back to my roots of playing Call of Duty a bunch like hours a day then I'm definitely not gonna have time for any other games so it's just gonna be a give or take it's gonna be a We'll see how it goes. Uh, I actually went back through all the Call of Duty I got. I was watching um, a stream last night getting ready for World War II, and uh, I, I was bored, and I, well, I didn't feel like playing anything. I didn't feel like riding solos or anything like that, so I actually just uh, popped in all the discs for all the Call of Duty I went through, and I got all my stats from them and kind of laid it out in a spreadsheet because I was bored, and I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm that excited to play World War II, uh, the full game. The, the beta is pretty good, but... Um, there's some stuff in the beta that I know they'll patch. Uh, grenades seem to do a little too much damage. Um, it's a little too easy to throw Kobe's. Um, so they need to tone down probably the damage a little bit and the, um, distance thrown. Because I already have nade spots. I have like eight nade spots already that I've found. Um, and then, um... The STG problem, the the flinch and re the flinch needs to be dialed down a little bit. You flinch a lot. If you get shot first in a gunfight, you're kind of if you're not posted up somewhere, you're screwed. If you're both standing out in the open and they land first bullet, they're probably winning. It's really hard. Um, with the flinch is kind of weird, and so that's something the pros have been talking about as well. Um, steady aim. Uh, hip firing maybe needs just a little bit of fine tuning. Some of the bullets like disappear, like they just straight don't hit anything, and so that's some of the stuff. Uh, fine tuning. The snipers need a little bit of fine tuning. Um, you get some wacky hit markers on snipers, and then you get some one shots that probably shouldn't be one shots. So they just need a little fine tuning on those. Um, we don't know what the rest of the weapons are like, so it's kind of hard to critique guns like the STG that seem maybe a... The STG seems a tad bit OP, but you can take it with a PPSH. You, it's not like you can't beat a guy with the STG with another weapon. It's just the best weapon. There's the best weapon in every game. Black Ops 2, M8, uh, Ghost, Remington. Um, I'm talking about assault rifles. Uh, Advanced Warfare Ball, or Bal, however you want to say it. Um, uh, Black Ops 3, the M8, uh, Infinite Warfare, the MV4, the K-Bar. I mean, there there are best assault rifles in every game. I mean, you can't avoid that. There's going to be better. And I could go back. 
ACR in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I mean, you can just keep going back. Um, FAMAS in Black Ops 1, M8 in Black Ops 2. But yeah, guys, that's that's just kind of the point I'm getting across. I just want to let you guys know um, that I will be playing a lot of the Call of Duty Bay this weekend um, with some friends and even just by myself. Uh, I love Call of Duty, and so I really want to get back into it this year with, with boots on the ground again. So I just want to give you guys an update and let you know what I'll be doing. And uh, if you don't see a Madden video for me from me, or you only see one or something like that, that you will know why. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. If you want to play uh, the beta with me, hit me up on Twitter or hit me up on PlayStation uh, under this this uh, PSN. You can hit me up under my main one. It's Korean in a kayak. It's in the description. But if you want to play with me on the beta, it's probably you want to you want to enter you want to hit up this one that's in the gameplay. So it's Alpha King Alpha, I think, or King Alpha King. Something like that. It's one of those two. It's one of those combination of words. I just kind of threw a thing together so I could get into the game as soon as possible. So, uh, guys, that's going to do it, though. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out. We're advancing. Protect us. Letting go, times we might feel like a bell. Looking down from the heights that we have.